P-acne, shoulder infection. P-acne is a slow-growing anaerobic gram-positive bacteria. The P-acne is a skin bacteria responsible for shoulder infection, and it usually has a subtle subclinical presentation. They can be rod-shaped or branched, usually found in the skin pores. P. acne may colonize in the axilla, especially in males. There is difficulty in obtaining positive cultures from standard labs. P. acnes are generally non-pathogenic but can cause number of infections such as acne vulgaris. The P. acne is one of the most common cause of shoulder infection, such as rotator cuff infection. In fact, some people think it is the most common organism isolated. I personally will question that. The interesting thing about the P. acne, it grows very slowly. So most of the standard labs will read the culture up to five days, but the P. acne can grow up till 14 days. So when the lab said no growth, he didn't give it enough time. And the patient may have the infection, and the infection may continue despite the culture came back negative, but it came back before growth of the organisms because the standard labs will not keep the culture for two weeks unless you tell them. So allow up to two weeks for the culture to grow and to identify this organism. Ask the lab to hold the culture longer time if you strongly suspect the infection. This organism colonizes the shoulder at an increased rate. Many open rotator cuff repair after arthroscopic surgery may have an increased risk of infection with that organism. A second prep and drape of the surgical field was suggested to reduce the incidence of infection. Positive culture was also found in revision shoulder arthroplasty. Staph Epi loves prosthesis, especially in the hip or the knee. P. acne loves prosthesis in the shoulder. The clinical presentation is insidious and non-specific. The traditional signs of infection are usually lacking, such as the fever, erythema, severe pain, the blood work is usually not consistently elevated. It is a slow-growing bacteria, and the cultures take from one to three weeks to become positive. This creates a diagnostic challenge. The initial culture is usually negative. The lab does not usually hold the culture for a long time unless instructed with personal communication with the appropriate personnel. If you suspect infection, ask the lab to hold the culture for at least two weeks. Men have a higher bacterial burden than women. P. acne is the most common cause of indolent shoulder infection and shoulder implant failure. Infection of the shoulder with P. acne should be considered as a cause of persistent unexplained shoulder pain. This is a patient that has pain in the shoulder, and you can see the fluid collection that was aspirated, and the patient was found to be infected with P. acne. Treatment. Obtain fluid from the aspiration or obtain a tissue sample. Multiple tissue samples are better. Keep the culture for about two weeks, debridement, and IV antibiotics. Resistant of the bacteria to antibiotics is a challenge. The prosthesis may need to be removed. In summary, the P. acne infection is an emerging clinical entity. The harm goes beyond the skin and should not be considered a contaminant. It is becoming an orthopedic pathogen, not just a derm pathogen. 
It's probably resistant to the standard broad spectrum antibiotics. The clinician should be aware that this bacteria loves to infect the shoulder. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.